Hey everyone, this is Ed Hubbs, owner of Full Blown Customs here in Pleasant Hill, Oregon. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to use a Stabilo pencil, draw out a design on this bowling pin, and freehand airbrush it. I do it two different ways. One, I use a Stabilo pencil, and you can draw your design on. I'll show you right here. We're going to do a school design. I just did a bike that had a um, Grim Reaper on it, and basically that's kind of the design we're going to use. But you just sketch it on lightly. Just draw in the eyes. I'll, I'll finish that one out here in a second. But I'm also going to show you how to take a piece of chalk, do the same thing. If you want these set in level or they will fall over. Let's just lay it down. You can use a piece of chalk and do the same thing. You can also wipe it back off if you don't like that design. But what we do is once I get this laid out, then I'll take my uh, white and I'll freehand white in here and then we'll wipe out all the chalk design or the Stabilo pencil. Same thing. The Stabilo one, I draw it on a little bit lighter, but you can also wipe it off. Or you can take water on a rag and wipe it off. But uh, it, won't, it won't hurt any of your your paint. Now I'm using a urethane based paint. I'm using house color. So if you're using a water base it's going to be a little more difficult to take this off. So you might want to use a chalk other than a Stabilo pencil. I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to make this pretty big. It's hard for me to see like this but And this is doing doing it with a piece of chalk here. We'll freehand that in. We're gonna do that right in here. Bring his top of his robe down around. Like I say we're gonna do a Grim Reaper. Then the top of it will be about right in there. I'm going to turn this a little bit in a second, but we'll go ahead. We're going to have his mouth just a little bit open here. So basically the mouth is going to be about like this. And then about right in there will be the bottom jaw. So then we'll just draw all this in. And you can draw fangs on or whatever you want for teeth wise, but we're just going to start out about right in here. And just draw his teeth out. And they get smaller as they go back. Start right here in the middle again. I like that. Then I'll draw the rest of this here. Now this is with a piece of chalk. Okay, we just did that one with a piece of chalk. We're going to do this one with, the, with a Stabilo pencil. And it's exactly the same thing. The chalk shows up a little bit more than the Stabilo pencil does. But uh, we'll do the same thing. I can press a little harder if I want. But one thing about the Stabilo pencil, I say, um, I teach this in my airbrush classes. You guys can reach me at fullblowncustoms at gmail.com um, if you're interested in any of my airbrush classes. But uh, I teach this in my class also. You can use the Stabilo pencil. As you can see, the fine lines that I'm doing. Now, if, say for example, you're, you're not really good at your fine lines and you, you're trying to uh, come in between the teeth and, and you just keep making a wide line with that. Well, you can use the Stabilo pencil and actually draw them in. But what you have to do when you're said and done with that 
is you have to take SG100 from House Color and spray a light coat over it or you can just go back and wipe it off. But with a light coat SG100 over it, it will actually lock that down and you can keep airbrushing on top of it and use the Stabilo Pencil as a tool. Now this one here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little different design. I'm going to wipe the nose off here. I got off to the side here oh, uh, one of my 3D designs that has a paint mask on top of the um, skull face and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy that a little bit and uh, make this into him wearing a uh, paint respirator. So I'm just going to draw this out. But again, I'm not going to show all this as I draw it out because it's all the same how we're doing this. We're going to start out with a white mixture. This is house color, and uh, I got it over reduced just a little bit. And we're going to go on outside of the lines here. Uh, we're going to leave the black, but we're going to start fogging in the white here. Now, this is the one done with a st uh, Stabilo pencil. Shooting about, I'm using about probably 30 35 psi. I'm using an IWAT Eclipse HP BCS. We're just fogging it in. I'll detail it here in just a little bit. Turn it just a little bit. And go ahead and fill this in right here. Just using the fog pattern to begin with. We're going to wipe all this off here in a minute. Not, not the base that I'm putting on, but we're going to wipe off the lines. All the lines that I drew in earlier. Go back up to the top part of the cape here, robe, whatever you want to call it. This is actually, this is the one that I'm doing for the uh, paint mask, so this will be his paint suit. Still leaving a lot of the black, I'm just kind of filling it in so I know where to come back in and uh, wipe the lines out and I know where to actually start airbrushing out. These are just basically guidelines that I'm using right now. Okay, that's about all we're going to do right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some water and wipe the um, chalk lines out while well, the Stabilo lines out. And I just got some water on a rag. Go back and wipe this off. And we'll dry it. Now as you can see, some of the lines where I airbrushed over, you can still see the outlines. We're going to go back in with our white and detail that. And I'll come back in with a little bit of black here and there. But you can see there's a spot right there that I didn't get off. Wipe that all the way off. And that's basically what you're going to have right there to start with. Now we'll start detailing that out.